But you don't have to. It's the work it, work it. What is wrong with the work it, work it? Uh oh, work yeah, it, yeah. work it. Uh oh. Okay, whatever. Thank you for joining us here on another show. Throw my phone at your forehead. Thank you for joining us for another edition of the Connect Show here on Tap In Radio. I'm Sapphire All Star McLovin, and I'm joined by DJ Mom's Vegas. What's happening? DJ Mums, so good to see you again. And we've got this other little sunshine, but he's still trying to get himself together. So we'll give him a moment. Well, hey, no, ah, ah. That was on purpose, actually. You, no, it wasn't. <laughs> no, yes, it was. No, it wasn't. Because uh, I picked it back like this. Like, uh, stop, <laughs> butter. <laughs> What's up? Oh, hold on. Did you say... Sapphire makes loving all star. I said Sapphire, Sapphire all star make loving. I can't wait for my sound effect thing. Come. Get it oh, yeah. together. I cannot wait. Yo, I cannot wait for that thing. Or the south. Yeah, I'm on it. Get it, it. I together. If it sound like that, it would have definitely, definitely a poop button up there. Why are you trying to poop my button? Didn't I tell you when you look like Pikachu, you're not supposed to be me. Right, you well. coming in like a ray of sunshine right now. You right. supposed to be like brightly beaming down, like. You know, Care Bear staring. Yeah, you the like the one with the rainbow on his stomach. You and you feel like me? the Soul Glow mannequin. Soul, soul Glow. I would have made a lot of money off that Soul Glow too. <laughs> nah, nah, that, that family guy. was balling. <laughs> Not even that greasy ass that shit. That family <laughs> was balling. Hater. I'm DJ Bear. I'm in the building. I bet you your daddy like it. And what? My daddy, please. <laughs> <laughs> you said, bet anyway. Your daddy like it. So, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be how right. was everybody for the past week? Because you know we didn't get together last week. Um, hey, actually, Bam had some stuff going on, and then I had the situation besides yeah, yeah. yours. I had a whole bunch oh. of shit going on. Um, I DJ a live virtual concert. Shout out to uh, Drewski. That's what's up. Oh, that's what's up. No, I did that. Um, where the fuck is my other um Ooh. Focus, man. <laughs> um, yeah, I got the DJ. Shout out to all the artists that came out. It actually, um, salute, uh, I forgot her name, but a female one. She actually won the championship belt. And by the way, that belt is real gold. Oh, that's heavy. So, oh. oh. Um, it sounds official. like a big deal. It's nah, official. it is. It is. Shout out to Mr. East for letting us hold the event. Um, oh, it was at Mr. East. Okay. Yeah, it was definitely a dope environment. Oh, that was dope. And um, shout out to all the artists who, who wasn't part of the contest that even just came out and performed. Was it, it was, like a. Uh, uh, did they get a prize, like a yeah, record yeah. deal or something no, like no, that? No, they got a championship belt, a real gold, like, like some wrestling belt. Um, they get an interview with Juski. Okay. And they get like a spread in, um, I forgot what type uh, magazine. magazine. But, you know, like, not magazine, like, like digital now. Oh, yeah, like um, Double and, XL or something like that. And they get the um, uh, actually a famous music director. I personally never heard of him, but he's shooting a music video for free. Oh, and, that's and, what's up. And... It K red eye whatever that you know video yeah, shit yeah, I'll that, talk yeah. about cameras cameras so stuff. was this camera like stuff, a, um what do they call that when the artists come out and perform and they it's, have like tickets and people the come crazy to see part them. about it was it wasn't even a showcase it was just a virtual was showcase say, it was just yeah. a virtual virtual live concert, concert. oh okay. right. now I mean it was on so YouTube. were there people there yeah in the audience yeah the shit was packed. I don't remember oh, wow. you inviting me. Oh, I was out of town. You were out of town. Yeah, you were going to invite me. Yeah. But you was like, yeah, you're going to be out of town. Yeah. Oh, yeah, my bad. Not even out of town. Your ass was tight where you went. That was, uh, yeah. Yeah. How was yeah. that experience? Yeah. Right, yeah. How was so the VA? What well, the video. The VA. You got video. Oh, no. I don't Ooh, have a. All star for a If reason, I do. <laughs> oh, if shit. I do, it's going to be worth it. No, it I, ain't uh, Nas, y'all. So I, it ain't Nas. <laughs> no, Nas. It's probably a poster of Nas with something stuck to the wall. No, it'll be taped so, to the dude's face. <laughs> it'll be like a little picture of him, like, mm, yeah, nice girl, I'm Illmatic. Anyway, um, 
<laughs> wow. So what happened was I had been approved for a car loan. And I was going for the car loan because I know that interest rates are coming up in March. All right. The feds are trying to curb inflation. So I was like, ooh, I got to get something else because Ida did my little baby wrong, did my little car dirty. So um, I packed because I was already going to All-Star Weekend in Cleveland. Oh, okay. So I, I, they called me and they were like, you know, if you want us to hold this car, you're going to have to put a deposit so we can put a soul sign in it because that's not if somebody come and they trying to buy it, get done it. And this particular car, I have been looking for it for weeks. Every time I found one and would reach out, somebody else had already bought it. They just scoop it up. Scoop it. Scoop it. Um, so I put the hold on it, put the money. Come in the next day, they like, good thing, because some dude tried to buy it last night. Like wow. the salesperson and the finance guy told me that. But I got up at like four or something in the morning, drove down to Chantilly, Virginia. Um, You're listening to the Connect Show on four Tap hours. In I went Radio. through a midget monsoon. A midget monsoon. <laughs> The water looked like it was going sideways across my windshield. <laughs> I was like, oh my goodness. Baby Jesus, wash over me. Um, but made it through that. It was only like five or two. And then got down there, did all the paperwork, caught the car. Lovely car. Mm. As you saw. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Nice guts. Like tan guts. Beautiful. Wait till you see the inside. Anyway, um, and it comes with the comfort package. Oh. So, you know, moon roof. Moon roof. Heated, ventilated seats, all that. Oh, nice. Um, what year? It's a 2018. Okay. Yeah. Um, and there was a 2019 that was in this area. I could have went to Manhattan and copped a 2019 that was around the same price. But number one, it had been in an accident, and they couldn't tell me what kind. They just was getting that off the Carfax. And number two, it was just all black on the inside, and I was just kind of like, but I could get this one with the team. <laughs> I'm going with that. So I do all that. I drive back up here from Virginia. So it took me about five and a half hours to get back up here because of traffic. Then I flew out to Cleveland um, for All-Star Weekend. And we had a wonderful Airbnb. There was gifts. I was, <laughs> no, I was like, I need to file my taxes. Because oh, well, I need some right money now. back. Forget them right now. Them shit's on back order. No, like literally. But on, I need to file. On the news, they're saying... Why or is it back? Why? Because yeah. it was last year, yeah. it was backed up too. No, not how it is this, this year. Like, it's, it's not you making no it. it took me four or five months to get my. No, you, you, you filed this shit late. <laughs> I filed it in April. Nah, yeah. Exactly. Late. <laughs> I mean, but I didn't get it till August. Exactly. Late. Late. That was late. Anyhow. You filed your shit when they were still giving out motherfucking stimulus checks. <laughs> I was just figuring, like, I'll get it later, so I don't want to spend anything. Yeah, yeah, but you know what I mean? That backfires. Uh, anyway. That, that backfires. Well, late. Uh, Cleveland was cold fish um, Saturday, but it was cool. It was different than the last time I went to All-Star in Chicago. Okay. Because Chicago naturally just has people walking around and stuff popping. Yeah. A lot of this stuff was very tailored, like, to the event spot you're at. You know okay. what I mean? Like, if you don't go to this club, you're not just going to see people walking around. Oh, yeah, right, right. Or if you're not downtown by the stadium, you don't just see people walking around. It was like nobody was out unless you were in specific places. Specific Whereas places. when we went to Chicago, it was just out. Like, you could just hop out and go into, like, a little restaurant. If you yeah. But that's because it's Chicago. So, anyway, so this one, cool. I mean, they was tripping even when they didn't have a walk like, $100. <laughs> so, but they had like the day parties and the night parties and all of that. Right. Um, and so the people were cool. The food was good. We went to Wahlburgers. I got the sandwich with the government cheese. Is yeah. what they said was yeah. on it. Yeah. And they explained that the Wahlberg family has like, you know, Mark Wahlberg and Donnie and his brothers. There was nine of them. I was like, dang. I, I was thought deep. it was just a couple of them. I thought no, it was like it's, it's four. Not, no, it's nine. I know he talked Damn. about before how they grew up. 
like right. around the time they interviewed him when he did Four Brothers. I yeah. know he talked about that, uh, but I yeah. know. No, 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 I've been striped ever since I came out. No, they not. We you went did. and Googled it. We went and looked. One of them Straight from the away. Northern Himalayas. And then the Flint other one's Michigan. not all famous. One Fifth of them does some acting. That I, we don't remember, but the rest of them don't know. They just right on the block. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, think about that famous network. Yes, that is why. Because if you're in some cars, somebody, somebody say about a car situation, oh, yes, such is enough. Y'all think somebody asking about a DJ. I'm like, what? But that's a niche. Like, that's a niche. Like, you know what I'm saying? I just, what is your definition of fame? My definition of fame. That's every day on Instagram right now. That means you're not famous. You, if nobody will know who the fuck you is off your social media. I'm not to I'm I mean, to me, the only reason we don't want to be famous is if I'm I could be copping dough and not be famous. But I don't mind walking into a regular place and I'm so heavy. I'm not going to be so That's all I can do. I could take you right now around some label people. You jumped up towards the limit. And that's what I'm talking about. But I know him. I'm like, he's famous, but like you might not be famous in your eyes. But I'm like, he's famous. Okay. Yeah. You get what I'm trying to say? You get what I'm trying to say? Alright, so no, 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 I'm cool with that. No, but that's what I was trying to get to. Yeah, like, okay, I get that. The yeah. That's why I said that. Because I'm like, you don't depend on where it is. Like, you don't you don't touch it. 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 You don't Next to him, and yo, Ricky, and I'm like, who the hell? Chain of hotels, like, fuck Rick Smithers, and yo, Ricky, come here, my man. The Rick Smithers, we had a look, not even, we had a moment. You stood next to me. I gotta have people explain now, like when they name dropping, because to them, they know who it is, and to them, it's a big deal when they name dropping. So I gotta be like, so what do they do exactly? Yeah, right. So I can find out because one time when I was in Vegas. I'm talking to this older gentleman from Canada. Bob. Shout out to the Canadians. Bob, somebody. I don't know. But whatever Canadian, his name. He had his family on the textile company. Okay. I'm not putting it together <laughs> until he was like, you and your friends should come with me and my you know, associate. Because it was like his employee. Still not putting it together. Right. Until we got to the elevator in the Bellagio. Oh, the Bellagio. Until we got to the elevator that had a doorman press the button for us to go up. <laughs> and then we got in the room and my girl was like, this room like $5,000. That's all I don't want to go. So, I, I only so, so we just chilling, playing pool. You, there was a little movie area. There would be a, a bathroom, like kitchen banging. Wow. It was and like, was oh, love, we just ran into love, a situation. And I ain't know. I'm just talking to them. Like, yeah, you know about come true, you Canadians. Come oh, true. You was coming into I don't even, walking into I don't even recognize what I'm running into. Walking you know, into it. I need to be sniffing better at home. Huh. I'm just saying, they're supposed to be on the radar like you, motherfucker. They're supposed to be better than you. They're supposed to be better than you. No, but. They're like, girl, you know what that is? No. Girl, let me tell you, look. You're not gonna know every middle age. Nah, I ain't gonna Man. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, exact three owners. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. There has been, there has been, like, for example, my own girl, I call it this week's name. Trojan. <laughs> oh, okay. Daughter of the Ruckus. And I'm like, you said it's 
Trojan. Oh, the owner of Trojan. The owner of Trojan. Oh, so daughter. she came up on the Trojan list? His, his daughter. She could get him for free. His daughter was my, was my big, like, I tell you, my homie, I come on this is roommate. So we chilling, she chilling. Had a roommate? Yeah. She was regular, like you said, regular. Regular. This and girl that's how goes, you would have no this idea. girl goes, we have a pool party, you should come through. Mom, <laughs> I'm in high school, but chill with them. Get to the house and like, <laughs> White teeth. So, <laughs> White teeth. so I, the funniest shit, mind you, her dad was in there, but there was other people there. So, was it like a mansion? Yes, but you talking about this is a nice house because. I mean, a nice I, house is me what I say about my parents. No, no, house. no. Me personally, I'm just like I'm not. I was never, and I'm not even trying to cap in front of you. I'm never the one to be like, oh, this shit. Unless, right, there is a house in Vegas that I want to go check out. That shit, I'm like, yo, this shit. But I went. I'm like, that's a nice house. Like, you know what I mean, I'm trying yeah, to. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. It's cool. Like it, it was nice. no big it's deal. Cool. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, yeah, dad owned Trojan. Who? What Trojan? What? That's like that's like a. And you know, if I was her dad, I'd be like, you ain't never got no reason to pop up unexpectedly pregnant. Man, never. Even. This when I learned you about ain't never this, got this no when I learned reason. about the IDU. She was like, nah, I got the IDU on me. I was like, what? I I U D whatever. I U D whatever. I don't give a fuck. I don't know this shit. I do. You know, it's an I U D. I do. Well, I know. I do. I U D. Dead ass. She was like, yeah. Don't worry about that. I've got a copper one. She got a what? what? Look, even, 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 mom's like a what? <laughs> we gotta get to these stories. <laughs> Yo, oh my yeah. God. On that note. Hey, <laughs> what the fuck was that? Shit, I got a gold plate. Oh, man. <laughs> Speaking of famous <laughs> people. Dutch. Speaking of famous people, y'all. Uh, oh my God. Oh, Andre 3000. Love this guy. Yeah, yeah that's my God. Down. That's my God. Mom, would you look like him a little bit? A little bit, a little bit, like mom. you could be from the <laughs> same like, like, tribe. Word, word, you could word. be from the same tribe. <laughs> Mom's like you play guitar with him. <laughs> yeah, right? He got the flute. Mom's got the guitar. The bass. <laughs> Andre Three Thousand has uh, four new songs that he's gonna put on the soundtrack for upcoming Eight Two Four movie. Everything, everywhere, all at once. Eight Two Four. I've heard of it. What's that about? If, if you know, I've seen if that know. before. Yeah, if I'm saying, what, 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 yeah, what is it? I just saw the number. What's it about? Um, I just know that they said that's what was coming. Well, if he doing the soundtrack, it, it, I probably like some. I don't want to say soul movie, yeah. some type of black inspired. Because what I'm thinking yeah. is a two four is a platform it's amazing of some sort. Because the movie is called Everything Everywhere All at Once. Oh, so it might, might be a channel or a streaming It's service. scheduled to hit theaters March 25th. Oh, okay. Like I said, I've seen it, but like... Or maybe they're the production company? Yeah. Yeah, I could see that. Uh, I've seen a little... But if they asking him to do the soundtrack, it definitely must be like... Well, he's got four yeah. songs on it. And, and you know him, he, it, yeah. he, he's diverse, so you never know what you're going to get from him. Yeah, so I'm thinking as, as I read it, that that's the production company. Okay. It follows an agent and an Asian Chinese immigrant who is swept up in an insane adventure where she alone can save the world by exploring other universes connecting with the lives oh, she could have led. Space universe. Oh, space. Yeah, this get real deep. Parallel. Oh, wow. you multiverse. Multiverse. Oh, oh, he got that big money movie check. <laughs> that movie yeah. check. And he's in charge of the soundtrack. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't say he was in charge of it. Who do you think? Who do you think he gonna make up? Well, the New York band Sun Lux is scoring. Um, okay. Um, but he's not in charge of the soundtrack. But he's putting four, four new songs, songs on the soundtrack. I think I think him and Pharrell. Yeah, because have you seen him with that flute? Andre three thousand. Yeah, he just be going around random places, just playing this big old flute. Wow. The flute and the, um, the guitar and all that. Yeah. I would I would love to sit down and just chop it up and have 
yo, I heard, I heard from people who did like I was like met him. They was like, yo, he's the coolest down to earth person. Down to earth person. That's what I've always heard. Of. Like I'm talking about, like, he got that people like he'd be like. No, so this guy met him, and I think his son was like nervous or something. He was talking to his son, whatever happened. He texted the guy like four years later, like hope everything is okay. Wow. And your son, such and such. Wow. Yes. I was like, wow. that's deep. Yeah, no, that is. I was like, does he take notes? <laughs> yeah. Right. Put it in his phone, like. No, I, I think. Twenty twenty three. Nah, nah. I believe, I believe people like that sometimes, you know, just. Got a dope ass memory. Yeah, that's, I would have been like, like, that's like why we even on that topic, man. Shout out to Shaq. Like, he he doesn't only just share it with like use money, his money for charity, but he really being like, you think you think this guy going shopping Louis? This dude be shopping in regular Walmart. Right. That's how you keep more money to give more money to your kids. Not even that whole Beyonce thing with Blue Ivy. They was in Target when that happened. It was not bad. No, no. Like somebody was like they saw Beyonce and her mom in Blue Ivy in Target, but they was really shopping, like shopping in Target, shopping, shopping, like shopping, like picking up shit. Yeah, let's save some money. So and somebody put up like, oh my god, like how Beyonce and her mom is here. Shopping at Target because it's Target. Number one, they yeah. got some cute stuff. But number two, people want to blow money on stuff, and I've talked to my friends about this sometimes. Anyway, Depending on, like, I got friends who like, yeah, I just copped this new Louis bill. Why? And, uh, and Why? it's like yeah. you just paid, you just paid yeah. four hundred dollars to put on your he waist. Paid seven hundred. You just Shit. paid seven hundred around your waist. Around your waist, a right? belt. A and belt? I'm like, but. Here I am to wear, going to All Star Weekend. Wear a tight ass shirt but, so you can show your belt. <laughs> but here's the thing: I'm going to All Star Weekend, but you can't come. You know what I mean? Like right. I'd rather do other things. Like maybe you want a belt, but I'd rather go kick it or spend my money on this yeah, truck. Traveling. Yeah, this truck, this travel, this whatever. A like, whole experience. Yeah, like I'm not here stunting with these clothes. Like I could care less about that. And then my homegirl was like, "See, I'm glad I didn't go." Because if I would have went, I would have had to get some new clothes. Why? They don't know you. What? They don't what? know you. I said, I got clothes that I'm wearing that I've worn before. Where? Here in New Jersey. Because why? <laughs> Them mofos in Cleveland didn't see me. Why, why am I blowing dope? But people have what they want to spend their money on. I've come to that conclusion. I've also come to the conclusion that men can be some interesting characters. And this is why I tell you. Because that woman's face that's up right now, if you're watching this video it's because men have been getting artificial girlfriends and then verbally abusing them. Wait, say what? Anywhere I would have followed you. Girlfriends. They've been getting AI girlfriends. So there's a AI app you can get called Replica. Okay. And they said several male users are verbally, verbally abusing their girlfriends. The AI ones. The AI ones. The robots. They would say some stuff like every time she would try and speak up, I would berate her. Or we had a re routine of me being an absolute piece of shit and insulting it and then apologizing the next day before going back to night and talk. Is this a fetish? I don't know. This is some nerdy shit. This is some <laughs> fat person yes. who can't get a real girlfriend. This is some other people. No, I'm but it's so like, I'm so when you got a real human female, then what? Like you gonna try that off with her? Or you just gonna stick with this AI chick? They gonna stick with the no, AI because the AI chick he built them to be this beautiful girl that they know they can and change this fucking story. <laughs> he made him mad. Okay, him bitter, him real bitter. I don't know. Anyway, this story is about the tale of two Bethany's. One Bethany with that long blonde hair. <laughs> was trying to get onto a flight when she was detained in Los Angeles and arrested and held for 13 days because they thought she was the Bethany with the dark brown hair who was oh. older. Um, and so she's suing for some money and I'm sure yeah. she's going to catch a lit. But she's like, this could happen to anyone and she's trying to get $2.5 for emotional distress. Trying. She's going to get it. Yeah, she's going to get that. And for every day that she was incarcerated. So did, oh. they, so did they did catch 
the, the second one? Yeah. They never said if they caught the 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 original one. But how long? Ago she was looked like she for? got. She got, looked like she got. That looked like a mugshot. Yeah. But how long she was she was for? Thirteen days. Oh, two weeks. How how, how they finally re- yeah. how they oh. realized that it wasn't her? Cause she kept saying, "Please check. That's not my the the information wasn't." And so they, at first, didn't really check the basic information, like the right. birthday. Right. <laughs> Social security number. Wait, now, what airport right. this was? Huh? What state and county this was? This was in L.A. She, well, they arrested her. The LAPD arrested her at the um, LAX. You gonna lose your job. You gonna lose, lose your job. job. <laughs> you gonna lose your job. Hey, you gonna lose your job. Hey. <laughs> Because I think her family had to try to get her out. Because um, she kept saying to the cops, it's not me, it's not me. So they got different middle names. Like, y'all ain't, come wow, on, fam. Yeah. Like, y'all ain't even got the right middle name. You're going to jail now. <laughs> You're going to jail now. <laughs> so, yeah, it's going down. She about to come up on the lake. Oh, man. Yeah. All right. What's up next? Oh, let's talk about this guy. Okay, so his name, I don't know if y'all remember in Kansas City, um, you know this happens so often, Tyree Bell, anybody remember him? Alright, well he was arrested in 2016, held also for three weeks for a crime that he did not commit, he was 15 when it happened, so he got almost a meal, he got 900000 that's what's up. I'll take it. That. I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh, I can't Go hurry away for my sound effects. Good for him. <laughs> yeah. Let's get the applause. So he was walking home when he was stopped by a poop piece. Um, they were responding. You know how they do. Yeah. Black males got guns. Blah blah blah. Right. Um, officer arrived. Somebody started running. So they see him a mile away, and they're like, "This must be the guy." So they arrest him. He was taller than the suspect. His hair was different than the suspect. Entirely different clothes. But they still took him in and held him without being charged. Whoa, just held him. Yep. He was only released after detectives watched patrol car videos where it was apparent he wasn't the same dude. Uh, mm, so yeah. did they lose their job? Lose I they hope job? they did. did they lose their job. I hope the city did. of Ohio <laughs> just paid that nigga 900 What do you mean city of Ohio? I said Kansas City. Oh, up. Kansas City? I'm sorry. She, she, hate, she hate what I'm talking about. Ohio. Don't be talking about Ohio. <laughs> she 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 sad sucker. On to the next story. Sad sucker. You don't get your 19. Ohio. Got you sucker. <laughs> Jive turkey. Jive turkey. Jive turkey. <laughs> <laughs> this was actually kind of a sad story. So this is a shout out to siblings because supposedly the sister of this girl called and made a missing persons report uh-huh. and asked if they would check and look for this particular car. A woman with severe disabilities was left in a car in a tow compound, a tow yard. Oh. Um, by her mother. What? What? Yes. And they, at one for like a week, her mother left her in there, and the temperatures have been getting freezing. It's in Washington. Yeah. Oh. Damn. It's in Washington. Hold up. So she got the car got towed. The car didn't get towed. The she, mom drove up in there and left. Oh, her. drove up into the. Yeah, she left her. And in there, in she there. walked away from the cop because she's she going was to severely jail disabled. Now. She's definitely going to jail. Yeah. She was lying in the back seat. She had a bunch of clothes and stuff on top of her. She was bad enough that the employees contacted nine one one and the ambulance and police came out. Wow. Family she, members she were told, worried that they hadn't told. heard from her, and so they contacted the police. Mm. And I bet you she told that the mother dropped them off there. The mother was 45. The girl was 28. What? Young mother. I think she was on camera walking away from the car, though. I don't think nobody needed to tell. But it, nobody. Her car. But but the mother wasn't worried when they did the missing report and none wasn't faking it. I mean, I don't know if she thought that nobody would notice. I don't know. Yeah, but why? Yeah. But why the family. She's got other family members. Yeah. So you thought everybody was just gonna be like, ah, she's missing. 
Uh, she's messing. Uh, she'll turn up. That was messed up, though. That baby is severely disabled. Like, that's... Yeah. That's foul. Can't fend for herself. If she's that's probably too why she much for you, then I could see you taking her to a facility Yeah. and leaving her. Like, I can't. And then just running away. I mean, if that's what you're going to do. But not in a car. Not in a car. In a parking truck. lot at a, a tow yard. Alrighty. You know, shout out to her. And who is her? Aaron Johnson. Aaron Johnson won gold as a speed skater. Oh, yeah. The first black. Say it. I was getting there. Say it! I'm getting there. Say it. Still Black History Month. I'm getting there. Damn, you said clear. The fuck? Anyway. What are you talking about? It's Black History Month. We can see what you're talking about. We want to just say clear people. No, that's right. That's right. Anyway, Listen, she was I'm the tired first. Of, I'm tired of being in Facebook jail. She was the first one <laughs> to, to put to win the 500 meters gold medal. And, Black. And because that's of COVID up. restrictions, she had to put her own medal around her neck, so it was backwards at first. But she was crying so hard that you know she hadn't even realized. But people didn't care. They showed so much love. Like who cares? You're That's amazing. What's up. Who you still cares got the because medal. she's awesome. black and she won. She's a female. But plus a speed skater. Yeah. I, speed I was shocked skater, yeah. when I saw it. I'm like, I've never seen us do that. I guess that's nah, why she's the first one. Yeah. Yeah. Time I tell you, like, we say us like that. We never seen us do that. I we go ice skating and shit on dates and stuff. Not fast. So what? What you mean? We ain't speed skating. What you so? Speed speed skating. Skating. so you gonna say? You gonna she's say? You gonna you gonna say that when the she's first one? Listen, skating. you gonna say that when the first yeah. one went when when the, when the um what you call it swimming shit? You gonna be like oh we don't swim like that? I didn't say like that. <laughs> I'm saying. I said at all. I ain't saying. never seen one of us speed skating. Listen, 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 black. Power. <laughs> <laughs> you still going to get us in Facebook jail. No, we not. <laughs> <laughs> All right. On this shit next. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, right? Wait a minute. Hold Who's on, this hold on. cowboy? <laughs> I'm a rhinestone cowboy. Oh, that's him? No, that's oh. not him. Um, I'm trying to that's find... That's Joe? His, no, his name is Rich... <laughs> John Rich. Yeah, his name is John Rich. He's half of, okay, so he sings country. Mm. And he said. John like black people. <laughs> <laughs> it's black history month. Everything black. He says, because um, you know Tennessee is trying to ban some books. Oh, yeah. And they're no, called I, no, obscene. I hear about that. What you mean ban some books? What's going on with that? Tennessee is trying to ban obscene books from school. And the ba- the books aren't even that deep. Like, it's not that right, big of a deal. Right. So this dude is half of Big and Rich. This is John Rich. Oh, okay. And um, he... <laughs> sure okay. <laughs> he <laughs> said, oh. what's the difference between a teacher, educator, or librarian putting one of these books like you have on a desk of a student or a guy in a white van pulling up at the edge of a school when school lets out and saying, come on around, kids. Let me read you this book and show you these pictures. What? what? Okay. So you tried to say librarians and teachers having some books. Are like pedophiles? Are like pedophiles. Wow. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah. That's what John yeah. Rich said. Yeah. Yo, yo, next. Coming up with a white van. <laughs> next, yo. Yeah. Just next. Tom, come look at this book with come these pictures. Come look at this book with these pictures. Yeah. All right. People, people, uh, once again, you, you was taught to think, not to assume, people. <laughs> well, apparently he wasn't. All right. Let's get it in. What happened at McDonald's? Well, let me tell you. Mm-hmm. A father we love to see you smile. pulls up, <laughs> and the father is like, hey, you got my order wrong. This was in Utah, by the way. Oh, he's yeah. like, oh shit! Utah finally get some pop. He said, "Oh, you got my order wrong. <laughs> I'ma just show you this gun." So what? they're like, "Oh snap!" They call the police. So while the man's being pulled out the car and arrested, the next thing they know, who's holding the gun? A little four-year-old junior in the back is holding the gun out the window at the cop. Because That's... apparently when they pulled dad out, they didn't secure the car. Right. So then the four-year-old is like, I got your back, dad. 
Wow. I'm like, did I'm he know wild. how to shoot? Yeah, I, I wouldn't be surprised. Say, I was waiting for you to say he shot one of the I don't cops. Know. No, not even. They like, saying the man ordered him to shoot at the police, but I don't know. Shoot him, son. <laughs> Get shoot him, him, baby. <laughs> Get him for your paw over this wrong McDonald's order. Yeah. So, I, I don't know. They didn't have your Happy Meals. <laughs> shoot him. And there was a three-year-old back there, too. Wow. So the dad did all this with three and a four-year-old in the back. Some natural born killers right there. They said they learned that the dad instructed the kid to fire at the police. Mm. So that's what you're teaching. <sighs> yeah, that's what they teach them. To fire out, at the police. Out in Utah. And All-Star Weekend next year is in Salt Lake City. Yeah. yeah. Thinking going into that one? Hi, I'm not sure now. <laughs> not sure. Not if you're teaching the preschoolers to pow pow. To pow pow. <laughs> at the cops. At the cops. I mean, I don't know what y'all do to little me. Okay, next story. Pow. All right. So, I don't know. L.A. must have a lot of money because they're spending upwards to $837,000 to house a single homeless person. Single. One? Whoa, whoa, yes. whoa, 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 wow! Whoa, 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 they have a 1.2 billion program that's intended to build housing, but uh, it's getting a little costly. They're mm. trying to get about 1,200 units that the voters approve spending on, but what they built so far is bullshit. And apparent, according to the people, they're saying it's inadequate. Oh. So y'all spend almost 900 on in some bullshit and houses. You know what you could get for 900 in most 900? places. And this is just on a unit. You could get a banging house for a homeless what? person. Why is it a, a $900,000 unit for one person? I don't understand. I, I'm still trying to I'm confused, Los I'm, Angeles. Y'all arresting people falsely. Now y'all just blowing money. Listen, man. That was for... Come on, man. Let's, we know what it was for. Okay. We know what it was for. Why are we even trying to act I'm just dumb saying. right now? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> Did you know? Friends. Okay, I've never. How many of us have done <laughs> that's, that's what that <laughs> I've never seen the Harlem Gold Charters play in person. But did you know they now have women? And no. a little person on the what? team. No, no, really? I, I seen, there's I, a picture. No, no, I seen the little person before. I never that that not not seen. actually part of the team, but like I seen it part of the act. But, yeah, but not. I never saw a woman part of a team. Now you know the team has been around for uh, <laughs> about <laughs> sixty years. <laughs> They've been around for about ninety six years. They started 96. in ninety six. It was founded in nineteen twenty six in Chicago. Whoa! And oh, time out. You telling? So was it Chicago Glow Tribe also? Or it went to Harlem? No. So what happened was it was Chicago, but then they adopted the name Harlem because of the major African-American community. That's right. Oh. Say it again. Black power. <laughs> Say it again. Black power. Okay. Power. So they played more than 26,000 exhibition games in 124 countries and territories. Wow, wow. So, nah, like shout out to Harlem Globetrotters. I would love That's to see them up. in person one day. Yeah. We should go. But I, we should, because I, I had no idea they had been diversifying their team like Yeah, this. me neither. All right, this guy looks suspicious, does he not, on the picture. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah, Sometimes looks ladies, like a mugshot. when you go to date somebody, if they look suspicious already when you first meet them. If it look like a duck, <laughs> quack it, like a duck, quack like a duck. It might be, <laughs> I'm a uh, fucking duck. <laughs> All right. Or it also might be Affleck. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, um, there's this girl who goes to school. She gives her teacher a note. The teacher reads a note. It's from the girl's mother. She says she's been held captive in her house by her boyfriend. She's not sure where her son is. She's concerned. Police well, stake out the house till they come out. They pull them over. Cause I'm sure that's easier than getting a warrant. Right. Pull them over. Start asking questions. Mom's like, I don't know where my son is. I'm concerned. They arrest the old boy. And unfortunately, it was all bad for the son. Wow. He was found in the freezer. Damn. Well, hold up. Damn. You serious? Yeah, I'm dead ass. 
This so, happened in Las Vegas. So the the daughter passed the, the, the note. Mother, the mother gave the note to the daughter. The mother gave the note to the daughter to give to the teacher to, 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 to teacher. call the authorities. To call the authorities because she needed help because he was holding her captive. Wow! How the fuck he was still letting the daughter go? Uh, because he doesn't look like he was the one to think out of a well-laid plan. And he probably was also thinking that somebody would notice she was missing to school. Right. And they might send somebody by the house. Yeah. Because so. the little boy looks young, so he might not even been in school. The little boy looked like he yeah. belonged to him. That's not his father. Wow. Wow. So, once oh, again... They- do him dirty. Oh, I hope so. I, I hope they rip this shit so far apart. Man, listen, he got to tape his shit back together. I hope, I hope he be some, I hope they put some Kool-Aid on that nigga lip. If you went to jail, you know what the Kool-Aid is. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah. Motherfucker. Uh, but I, In Vegas, he need to be somebody bitch and hoe. Oh, he will be. Oh, yeah. He'll Especially be. for that. They oh, don't, yeah. you know what's crazy? They don't, they don't how, care. How, how, they, how rate? Right, kids uh, kill uh, kids, um, killing of kids and whatever. Mm-hmm. They don't right. play that shit in jail at all, at all. Right. It's going down. It's going down. They're gonna rip him a hole. Yeah. All right. What's the name of this story? It said "Woman in Tow." Swear to God. Oh no, we already did that one. You, you had two pictures. Why you just say that? It's the same picture. <laughs> no, it's not. That wasn't the same pictures. Oh my bad. And you named it different. Oh, my bad. My bad. <laughs> anyway, Tory Lanez. So, Tory Lanez apparently apologized to Megan Thee Stallion. And Megan Thee Stallion is posting the... Um, Tweets? The text? Well, she's posting the text that he sent her before, you know, because they're on their way to trial. And I guess her lawyers maybe t- told her it's okay now because they're going. But he apparently said, Meg, I know you probably never going to talk to me again. But I genuinely want you to know I'm sorry from the bottom of my heart. And I was too drunk. Nonetheless, this is should have never happened. And I can't change what I did. I just feel horrible. She said in the caption, lie your way out of this. If you ain't do nothing, then what you apologizing for? The lawyers got your phone records and mine, all your texts. They got you recorded on the jail phone, talking to Kelsey, apologizing, begging us not to talk. Wow. So care. let me tell you what he said it was I for. Don't care. He said, no, nah, it was because I, <laughs> I had had sex for, with two of her f- best friends, and I got caught. That's what I apologized for. Really? It's sick how you spun it, though. <laughs> wow. Uh, I, 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 wow. So... I, I, oh. Just, it's hard for me to fathom somebody would go through all of this, taking you to court and doing yeah. all of this and coming up with this magical story and you apologizing for fucking her two best friends. You trying to make it seem like you sexy as hell. <laughs> Tori, <laughs> you cute. Good. Why you why you mad? Because he banged both of her best friends. I mean, I I, think ain't no proof in that, that he banged both yes, he of them. Right. Ain't no proof that he banged it's both Tory of them. As he Tory Lanez. It don't he matter if he's Tory Lanez. That don't mean he pulling two... Everybody always want to talk Listen. about they D. Everybody Listen. always want to talk about how good they Let's, D is. It's the Whatever. name and, the, and it's Whatever. the fame. It, fame everybody get always you wants to talk about pussy. how good they D is, but half the times it ain't. Oh, y'all talking about how good y'all box is. What I don't fuck? talk about how good my box is. Lie. I don't have to. Lie. <laughs> she said lies. <laughs> I don't have to. Lie. I ain't got to talk about it. Lie. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I ain't gotta talk about it. Nah. These hoes do it for me. Oh, see, look. Oh, nah. oh, oh. Next oh. story. <laughs> Next story. <laughs> Push it right along. Let's go. These hoes. Okay. I did not know that this could happen. I'm gonna be honest with you. So there was a 19 year old. Um, he was a student. So I'm thinking he was in college, right? Yeah. And so he ate some leftover, like, rice and noodles. Not unheard of. Especially for a college kid. Especially for a college kid. Rice, chicken, and lo mein leftovers from a restaurant. He started feeling nauseous. So he was admitted into the pediatric 
intensive care unit because his body went into shock. Oh. He had multiple organ failure and a rash. Damn. They had to amputate his legs and his fingers. What? Um, I told he started you turning purple. He started turning purple. I told you to stop eating. My, 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 now, my. he shared the mail with his friends, but his friend just threw up a little bit and kept it pushing. Oh. He has symptoms like chills, chest pain, shortness of breath, and blurry vision. Um, vomit, wow. he was over 105. His heart rate was over 166 beats a minute. He ended up having to get um, a heart. What's that? M- not monitor. What's that? Th- uh, 13 days. Oh, What's the thing that help you help your heart beat? Pacer. Uh, pacemaker. Pacemaker. He had to get one of those for 13 days. So what happened was he had basically sepsis and he got a blood clot and his livers failed because Jeez. of the bacteria from them not putting the food in the refrigerator. So because wow. they didn't refrigerate the food and they just kind of left it out and just was eating on it later. Oh, There's a bacteria that, that grows, grows on, on pasta mm, and it grows on rice. Yeah. And his system couldn't handle it. And he went into septic shock. Golly. Wow. Yeah. So make sure <laughs> that once you cook your food, you control the bacteria and put it in the refrigerator. Depending on what it is. Now some stuff I don't immediately refrigerate it because I want to make sure that it cools down completely because you're not supposed to put it in if it's still warm or hot at any way. Okay. So depending on what it is, but you can't just be like two Uh, days later. It was just sitting out. (laughs) I mean, I don't know how long it was sitting out, but yeah, that's what I'm saying. He didn't put it in the refrigerator. Yeah. Yeah. So note to self. Party people. All right. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? (laughs) You can't make this ish up. up. You know, I don't know what you guys did for Valentine's Day, but let me tell you what you could have done. You could have went to the Brock Zoo Mm -hmm. and named a Madagascar kissing cockroach after the one you love. For fifteen dollars, it even comes with a digital certificate. Kissing cockroach. <laughs> they a also roach. have roach products. You could get some roach socks that you could give. You could give a Valentine's virtual encounter and roach socks. Um, you could have got a roach beanie. Um, so next time you're planning your Valentine's <laughs> Day. <laughs> Why don't we just go to the projects <laughs> and get the roaches for free? Save you $15. And a trip to the Bronx Zoo. And a trip to the Bronx Zoo. I said, I would only do this for somebody that I had broken up with and I couldn't stand their guts. That's some mean shit. <laughs> and I couldn't stand their guts. Like, but you I'm know, they actually had people that were like, we have such fun when we do this. Wow. Yeah, it's called... Wow. Um, a- <laughs> Kissing cockroach. It's, it's called a, a gift to remember. Yeah. <laughs> I bet. Ooh. Uh, name a roach. Name a roach. Not a star. Not a flower. It said name a roach for your Valentine not because roaches are forever. Oh. <laughs> I'm dead. I'm dead. Could you imagine somebody be like, here, boo. <laughs> here, boo. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my man. goodness. So. We used to name roaches all the time. But we was <laughs> <laughs> That's Peter. That's Billy. That's Billy. What up, G? I ain't seen you in a minute. I ain't seen you in a minute. Where the baby's at? Oh, where the hood, where the hood, where the hood at? <laughs> where your babies and your rose certificate? Uh, um, all righty. Well, it's been another delightful show. Yes, it has. What would you like to say before we leave, Mums? Follow me on DJ Mums Follow Music. Me. On Follow Instagram, me. IG. Look out for my merch. <laughs> Look out for my merch. All right. Hey there, Butter. Hey. 
<laughs> what would you like to say? Oh, you like a nut that needs to be screwed. You know what I mean? Dang. Oh. I mean, if you booking rooms, I mean, how let it play it later on? <laughs> God. Oh, man. Uh, tonight, catch me at, at the dark each and every Thursday. Also, I just got word what we was talking about, what I did last week. The next one is March 24th, ladies and gentlemen. That virtual stage concert, episode two. That's what's up. Oh, no that's what's up. I got to get out for that. Wait, no March what? March 24th. Ooh, to I sign might be up, in LA. To oh. sign up is at www.thevirtualstage.com. I mean, we would definitely love to have you guys. And you could take the title home. But as of right now, I'm trying to go home because I'm tired. Um, <laughs> when is spring break? Uh, spring think, break? Because ours is Good Friday and then the week after. I think it do yeah. Good Friday fall in March this year or April? April. I think it's the beginning of April. I think but it's the beginning. Yo, you know what I understand? April. You know what I understand? It's the 18th and 22nd. I never 22nd. understand that shit. Why Come it on. moves? At one point, Easter was always in April no matter what, right? Right. How it moved to March? It moved How the to March. Fuck did it just every, move? Every we moving. Yeah, Good Friday, Holy March. Thursday yeah. move. Yeah. Listen, you clear, I feel like when it's you, clear people you know stop how they got with that, the holidays. But you know how they got that extra day for like um We didn't get the extra day for February this year. Oh yeah, once again, ladies and gentlemen, um Yeah. I wasn't gonna say no. What the deuce is that? You, you know what next What's week? It? What is next week? Make two years, baby. Oh my May gosh, it's a celebration. Oh, March 1st, what baby. Happened? March 1st, you're not make doing nothing. Make two years with Tap in so Radio. You ain't doing uh, tap in. I, I don't know. Yes. I don't know. You I might, ain't do the little event last year. Oh, that was supposed to pop. Yeah. Like, what's no, happening? we didn't do that. We didn't do that. Anyway, we're talking about that. We're talking about that. All right, all right. So, anywho, we're going we're gonna to go. We're going to go. But um, before we go, let me just tell you that uh, the Connect Show is your home for urban news and music. <laughs> we yes, are sir. <laughs> she waited so long to say that. <laughs> indie music partner. Indie so you can music. always email us your indie MP3s to the connect show at gmail.com. Make sure you give us a little blurb to give you a shout out and let people know where they can find your music. You can also find us at www.theconnectshow.rocks as well as Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat. Yes. And TikTok. <laughs> and make sure you follow Tap In Radio on all social media platforms. You know what it is. Yes. T-A-P, the letter in the word radio. Also, y'all make sure y'all go follow uh, Sapphire Make Love and OnlyFans. She said, uh, I don't have she said she got some videos out there from All Star Weekend. Remember, it, she, remember, she said this is Sapphire All Star McLovin. She basically, I'm, I'm going to speak for her, y'all. She is letting y'all know her link and her username. No. Only fan. She got an only fan for every nickname. For but, every nickname, she got an only fan. Shut the front door. <laughs> but the um the link to listen to us on Tap In on Thursdays is on our YouTube page. All right. To you know, get at us live. So, with that being said, um, I hope that you all have a scrumdillyumptious week, right? I'm so glad that all my Tinder honeys came out to watch and listen today. Kisses. Told you, OnlyFan. Peace. Sapphire. <laughs> all Star McLovin. Slash hey. OnlyFan.com. Hey. Slash hey. OnlyFan.com. Oh. Oh, <laughs> oh, my only fans. Oh. Oh. <laughs>